This documentary will outline a major event where democracy was put into conflict, the SNC-Lavalin affair. I will cover what democracy really means, what transpired in this event, how it put our democracy into conflict, and how the issue could have been resolved. Democracy originates from the Greek word demokrasia, which literally means rule by people. The governing body is elected by its citizens through free elections. The principles that our democracy is founded on are the rule of law, protection of rights and freedoms, free and fair elections, and the transparency and accountability of our elected officials. Though in Canada, our democracy and open society has been promoted, recently there have been events in our government that have put our definition of democracy into question. The SNC-Lavalin affair was an event that unfolded just recently, involving how easily a government can be swayed and interfered. SNC-Lavalin is a very prominent Canadian engineering and construction firm that works internationally. It was charged with fraud and corruption in connection to $48 million in bribe payments to the Libyan government officials between 2001 and 2011. The recent scandal of SNC-Lavalin that rocked Canadian democracy has demonstrated how our standard of democracy has been compromised in Canada by our elected officials. This was demonstrated by the Prime Minister's involvement and interference with the justice system and the lack of transparency and accountability that we as Canadians deserve from our elected officials. We elect our governments democratically, and one of our democratic values is equal justice for all. Justice means that all people should be treated fairly, and no group or person should be favoured. The Trudeau government amended the criminal code last year to establish remediation agreements known as deferred prosecution agreements. SNC Lavalin had lobbied the government for a long time over this and would ultimately benefit from this amendment by avoiding criminal prosecution. In October of 2018, the Public Prosecution Service of Canada determined that the SNC Lavalin case did not meet the criteria for the deferred prosecution agreement. Though it wasn't all smooth sailings, our Prime Minister and his office were then accused by the Attorney General, Ms. Wilson Raybould, of inappropriately pressuring her to override the decision to prosecute SNC Lavalin. Instead of staying in line with our democratic values and representing the people of this country, Mr. Trudeau, our Prime Minister, was more concerned with preserving his political career by allowing SNC Lavalin to avoid prosecution and safeguard the 9,000 jobs that they employ in his Quebec riding. The Prime Minister shuffled Miss Wilson Raybolt from Attorney General to the Minister of Indigenous Affairs. Okay. She did not accept the new post and later resigned, claiming that she had been removed as Attorney General because she did not adhere to the pressure from the Prime Minister's office to override the SNC Lavalin prosecution. Jane Philpot, another Liberal minister, also resigned in support and cited loss of confidence over the handling of the SNC-Lavalin affair. Attorney General Wilson Raybould, who spoke out against this interference, was dismissed, while the Prime Minister and his office denied that any of her allegations were true. The response from the Prime Minister's office was to deny all the allegations, and as it played out over the several months, many Canadians developed a distrust for the Prime Minister, as he was not transparent nor truthful. This kind of behavior resonated throughout the world and showed that our democratically elected officials can be coerced, influenced, and bought. We have to stand by our democratic values and beliefs and not compromise them in any way. Ms. Wilson-Raybould exemplified what standing by our democratic values really means. Overall, this event showed what true democracy in conflict looks like. In this case, Raybould had a legitimate case and argument into the fraudulent actions of SNC-Lavalin. Our Prime Minister exerted ultimate power, in a sense a dictatorship, in this case, putting into question what our democracy in Canada is. This event should have been carried out as a fair approach, where everyone had an equal and fair opportunity to dictate and say what decisions and actions should be taken within our society and with the company's prosecution. To resolve this event where democracy was challenged and restricted, the Prime Minister and their government should have been able to uphold the democratic beliefs that Canada was founding on. Protecting many aspects of Ms. Raybould's charter, such as her freedom of thought and expression, she had the expertise and knowledge in this matter. Her role as an Attorney General should be independent and free of political interference. 
the fact that SNC-Lavalin or any major company in this matter can lobby the government to change laws or sway decisions in their favor is completely unacceptable and contradicts all the democratic and free beliefs that Canada has been built upon.